Today's world is closely tied to electronics and the internet, but when the power goes out, it can lead to serious problems for you and your family. In his Hurricane Ready special report for this evening, Not On Your Side anchor Jeffrey Roberts shares ways to prepare for days on end without electricity. If you lose power during a major storm like a hurricane, you could probably get by for a few hours. But do you have what it takes to get by for a few days or even a few weeks? Chris Murray directs the Pamlico County Emergency Management and says preparing for a big storm is essential to help you stay connected and survive. We rely on technology 24-7. In today's world, you look at folks that don't do anything but electronic transactions folks that that's all they they do and at some point they have to have a backup and and really it's it, it's back to the basics while murray says you should always be prepared for power outages ahead of a hurricane not being able to use everyday technology like swiping a debit card could catch you off guard there's typically plenty of warning uh, ahead of major power outages for hurricane we, we tell folks a lot of times going into storm season have a little bit of cash too because you know what we saw during matthew and florence you know uh if the internet's down credit cards don't work or, or bank card so what happens if you can't access your money barry robinson is the chief consumer banking officer for first national bank he says when a major hurricane hits there's a plan in place to keep their services available we have a uh, disaster recovery department that um they monitor storm activity and as much as a week ahead of any potential landfalls that are forecast, we have all the appropriate parties together to monitor the activity. Although having accessible cash on hand may not be top of mind in today's world, Robinson says it's still a good idea to have that cash with you before a major storm happens. Have access to your checking to your checkbook uh, for, from your checking account and also uh, probably gas in the car so that if you run out of that cash, you can get to an area where you have a combination of cell service and power to access one of our branches or an ATM. If you do find yourself having to live without power, the most important thing is to stay safe. In Greenville, Jeffrey Roberts, 9 on your side.